Alright guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to basically get the Evil Within to run uh, differently on the PC. So, uh, in order to bypass the Steam properties and entering it that way, to make this kind of a permanent thing where you don't always have to do that, you can always hit Properties. Just find the icon wherever it be. I'll also show you inside the folder if you want to as well. Just remember this right here, plus, com, underscore... I'll unhighlight that. Allow console one. And basically this will allow it so this way when you start up the game it puts this in automatically so this way you don't have to do it through Steam either. But you can also do it that way through Steam and an example of this would be say for like The Wolf Among Us. Obviously you're going to hit uh, the Evil Within in this case. Properties. Then you go where General is here and then do Set Launch Options. And then through this way you can do plus com underscore uh, let me find the thing again here. There we go. So plus com, allow console one, and then you'll just hit OK. So next time you run uh, the Evil Within, it will do that. I don't know what happens if you run the Wolf Among Us with that. Probably a bad thing. So I'm just gonna close that out. Um, so that that's what will happen. So uh, next, I'm gonna show you uh the console itself in the uh the evil within all right so now that we've loaded up the game now we can uh actually just hit the insert key that's the key that bethesda wants you to have um to open up the command prompt and then these are going to be some of the commands uh that you would enter in to get it to work but all right so that's not working i'm um, just going to quickly show you uh, a forum. So if you go on this forum, it gives you pretty much everything that you're going to need to figure out what to put into the command prompt. I'll make sure to put this um, in the description for the uh, video as well, so this way you guys can look at it too if you need a reference ever. So the ones that we're going to be using for our case is going to be R underscore swap interval and R force aspect ratio. Now there's other ones that you could do too, but those are more or less along the lines of being uh, a cheater. And I'm just looking to fix the black cropped thing and also the uh, unlock the frame rates um, because that's an important thing to a lot of PC gamers. So again, it's going to be R underscore interval. Int I can't spell interval. Right, interval set, and then it's going to be a number. So I'm just going to pick negative one. Negative one is going to set that to be uh, 60. I believe. Okay, so I'm an idiot. It was an interval set. It was something else, and I can't remember it. So I'm going to have to do this again. Now, what was that again? Swap interval. That's what it was. What sucks is that when you get into this game, it doesn't let you just... There we go. Swap. Swap interval. And I'll also make sure to show you guys just exactly how that's really doing it. Because right now, when you see that, you guys don't really see anything, it's just something that did go in. But do understand that that negative one is actually going to set it so this way that you have unlocked the frame rates up to 60. Initially this game will be at 30. And then to totally unlock it, which I don't recommend, and Bethesda themselves don't recommend, and they will not fix bugs based on it because, well, it's Bethesda. Uh, so doing zero unlocks it entirely, so you can go even past 60. Again, it's not a good idea. Just remember, negative 1 is going to be the one that sets it to 60, which is an understandable amount. Now, the other one is going to be R underscore aspect ratio. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of that one either. Uh, aspect ratio, force aspect ratio. All right, let's fix that. Force aspect ratio. And then a number. Similar thing. Um, Except you're gonna want to put like 1.8. 1.8 is the one that I do for the YouTube channel. You guys wanna, or for my videos for the Evil Within. So 1.8 is a really good one. It pretty much eliminates the black bar entirely. Um, two does a pretty good job of it too. I don't think that really changed too much on here. It might have. Um, two is another one. So their recommendations too. I like 1.8. It does distort a lot of things in like the pause menu and it will also distort things for cutscenes which is a little bit odd but again while I'm playing the game I would much rather have it be at 1.8. Just about no black bars. 
Now they don't recommend having it zero. Zero means that you're not going to have any black bars whatsoever. Be and there's apparently bugs with it. I can't say that I know that for a fact. I haven't actually played it with zero for a long extended period of time to realize if there is bugs but I know that things will be totally out of place things will look unfinished and unprofessional if you have it at zero because they don't have any optimization settings for that they really don't want you to mess with the force aspect ratio whatsoever so um, I, I do not like that black bar the black bar is very annoying they I mean I understand it in, in a moving ki movie kind of setting and that's what they say that it's there for but I don't I don't I don't know I don't like it. I don't think it should be there. And then one last thing before we wrap this video up. I want to show you the uh, com show FPS. Com show FPS. Com show FPS. That was right. Huh? Uh, I guess I was supposed to put a value in there. Show FPS. One. Okay. Alright, good. So now you guys can see on the side, the right hand, upper right hand side where I'm at for, um, uh, for my, uh, what is it, frames per second. Now it's really bad, I don't know why. I do have it set at negative one, so it should be closer to 60. I don't know if, I'm assuming that I'll set it back to the original state actually, which would be negative two, which Remember, negative 2 locks it at 30, so it won't be any higher than that, or it's not supposed to be. Okay, what did I do? I did not swap interval. That's what I was looking for, right? Pretty sure it was. Was it? Uh, Alright, well, it's supposed to keep it under 30, but apparently it's not really doing that. And I don't know why. Let me just double check. Alright, so I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, zero doesn't really unlock anything crazy to say the least. Remember, hit insert to get rid of that again. Um, I suppose I could, I'm gonna hit continue here just to sh see if it does anything. So I set it to zero. This isn't the recommended settings. So the, it might kind of get crazy, um, is in terms of the frame rates here, but we'll see. I don't think it will, cause, does it? No, not really. So it's sticking near 60, but this is unlocked um, completely. Otherwise, we can do swap interval to negative 1. And that, that puts it at 60. And again, it's not really doing too much. And then last but not least, we'll do negative 2. I don't know if it does it right on the fly. It doesn't seem as if it does. I don't know why that doesn't happen. Because right now it's set at zero. Wait, did I set it to zero? I'm losing my mind. No, I set it to negative two. Negative two is what they want you to keep it at. That's going to lock it at 30. But it doesn't bring my frame rates back down to 30. I'm sticking close to 60. But again, I'm not sure as to why that doesn't happen. Regardless, when you start up the game, it is automatically set to that. And just try to memorize. I haven't memorized them, but... Try to memorize those commands because you will every time you close out the evil within and reopen it, it's going to go back to the default settings, meaning you will not have an FPS counter, you will not have your frame rates unlocked to 60 or unlimited, and you will also not have the you'll have the black bars back again. So hope this video helped everybody out that plays on the PC. I know it's extremely frustrating. It was frustrating for me to get my copy and then realize that you know, the game is in a very odd state. I'd much rather have it where the black bar is not there. I really wish that they optimized it for that, but oh well. Uh, and also, guys, if you haven't subscribed or liked this video, please do so. It would uh, help me out more than you could imagine. And check out my entire series. I will make sure there's a link for that uh, above as well. So I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.